As students across Connecticut return to class, local gun violence advocates say stopping a tragedy before it starts could be as simple as a kind word. News 12 Connecticut's Sean McCabe has more from Fairfield Ward High School. As children from across our area return to school for in-person learning, Sandy Hook Promise is telling teachers and students how they can help prevent gun violence before it starts. We are training students across the country how to know the signs uh, and how to connect with, with their peers and how to uh, even self-report if necessary. Sandy Hook Promise co-founder Mark Barden lost his seven-year-old son Daniel in the 2012 shooting at Sandy Hook Elementary. Yesterday should have been his first day uh, as a sophomore at Newtown High School. He says the organization's anonymous tip line has been busy all year and as school gets back into session, calls are skyrocketing. Increased anxiety, um, lots of uh, uh, suicidal ideation tips from students. Barden says feelings of isolation and depression are common in teens, and the pandemic and quarantine have only made things worse. Some people feel like they're invisible, and it's an, it's an awful feeling, and if that goes on for a long time, it can lead to other things. He says breaking through that isolation can help stop violence before it starts. Just start with hello and make that person feel validated and that they've been noticed and that they do exist. Sandy Hook Promise says there are often warning signs before a school tragedy, and their mission is to train teachers and students to recognize them and seek help. Talking about hurting other people or pulling away or withdrawing um, or unusually angry or on edge, these are all warning signs that we've, we've studied. Sandy Hook Promise's next set of PSAs will come out in September. For now, in Fairfield, Sean McCabe, News 12 Connecticut. You can get a link to Sandy Hook Promises Emergency Training Programs and Anonymous Crisis Line on News12.com.